Local leaders joining the former president at that rally today. Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin has more on what they had to say to the crowd. You've got gangs like Trende Aragua turning apartment complexes into their own playgrounds. What's more American than that, right? Venezuelan gangs are extorting and harassing people, assaulting them in their own homes. And Kamala is out here like, Hey, relax, it's fine. Several sitting Colorado lawmakers joined former President Donald Trump at his rally, some using inflammatory language to generalize immigrants ahead of Trump's speech focused on crimes committed by some immigrants living in Aurora. Every community in Colorado, including Aurora, is being flooded with illegal aliens and our hard-earned tax dollars are being spent on their needs not the needs of veterans or American citizens. While Colorado's Republican members of Congress and congressional hopefuls were well represented, Aurora City Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski was the only person in Aurora leadership who spoke on the main stage. I've said it once, I'm gonna say it again. The Democrats didn't realize that it was gonna be little old me out of Aurora, Colorado that exposed the broken immigration system to the entire country. And make no mistake of it, these pictures you see, these mug shots you see, this is not a feature of my imagination. But the speakers didn't provide many plans on how they plan to strengthen border security outside of voting. We can flip this seat and we can make sure that Donald Trump has a Republican majority in the U.S. House of Representatives when he's reelected as the 47th president of the United States. Our thanks to Gabrielle Franklin there. Meanwhile, earlier on today, Democratic officials and leaders in Colorado held a press conference ahead of Trump's visit here to Colorado, accusing the former president of spreading misinformation about the state's safety and elections. Listen. So I think Kamala Harris brings practical solutions, uh, whether it's for border security, whether it's for dreamers. Uh, Donald Trump uh, wants to do everything he can to stop anything that would solve uh, illegal immigration and keep it stoked just for political purposes. These words, these lies have real consequences. This is not victimless. What Donald Trump is doing is victimizing some of the most vulnerable people in our community. We need a real approach to secure our border in ways that reduces the chaos that Trump has been such a huge part of. He is a genius at politicizing this issue. He is a genius at dividing the American people.